What is a thought leader? Why do you need to be one? And how do you become a thought leader? I thought I'd spend a few minutes today talking about one of the most important topics to me and one of the most important topics that you should be thinking about if you are in any kind of business. If you're an entrepreneur, if you are the leader of an organization, if you want to be leading anything, you need to be a thought leader. And thought leaders are the people with the ideas that start conversations, that maintain conversations, and that people go to for their expertise and leadership. That's the word, right? Thought leader. So to be a thought leader, you need to be able to command the attention of an audience. It should be your audience. It should be the people that you want to be in touch with, the people that you want to buy your product, the people that you want to support you. And the reason why that's so important is because no business is a business without an audience. If you have a product, if you have a service and no one to sell it to, no one to share it, no one to talk about it, you don't really have a business. And the easiest way and the most powerful way to get people to share your business, share your ideas is to give them a reason, right? You need people to be thinking about you. You need people to be talking about you. Sure, you can advertise, you can do all kinds of things, but the most powerful form of marketing, the most powerful form of advertisement is word of mouth. And that's why thought leaders are the most sought after people is because people are talking about them. You want people to be talking about you. So how do you get people to talk about you? I think there's a couple things that are, that are really important when you're, when you're asking yourself, how, how am I going to get people to talk about me? You need to care about what people care about, right? People are inherently selfish. It's, you know, in this capitalist economy we live in, people care about themselves. And it's not, it's not an accident. It's just a matter of uh, people needing to put food on the table. P people needing to take care of their families. And if they don't do it, no one else is there to do it. So when you are thinking about how you're going to get people to engage with you, think about what they're thinking about. If you come from a business background, if you are someone who has accomplished a lot in your life, if you are someone who has a really important experience, either at a company, in a social movement, in, you know, you name it, then those are things that give you a unique perspective. And you've had a lot of time, hopefully, to come into contact with people and their concerns and their cares. So... What are you doing now with that information? That should be all you really have to, to consider is that people have these needs and you understand what those needs are and you can ask questions of the people in your market. And once you do that, then that is the opportunity to start coming up with the thought leadership content that is going to resonate with people because you're actually reflecting people's problems back to them. You're saying, I understand what your problems are but that's only the first step. The next step is that you also have to have some kind of solution or some kind of point of view. So once you understand what people care about and what they're thinking about and what their problems are, the next step is that your point of view has to be something that either provokes more thoughts, conversation, or points in the direction of this is actually something that you could be doing to make that pain go away. This is something you could be doing, could, should, can be doing to make your problems smaller or create new opportunities for yourself. As I, as I mentioned, you know, people are self-interested. So you being the thought leader are the person with the relevant experience and also a point of view that's going to get people to take action because they want what you've got. They want what's in your head. And not only do they want it, but if they want it enough, they will tell other people about your thoughts, your ideas, your vision. Once you start to do that, you become sought after. You become the leader of the conversation. You become the leader of the industry. And why is that so powerful? Because everybody is chasing. Everyone's spending their life going after things that they want. But the people with the most influence, the people that really succeed on a disproportionate level, have people coming to them. People are seeking them out for their ideas, for their products, just to be in the presence. When people are, uh, when people are in demand, it, there's really no shortage of money, no shortage of opportunities 
that become part of their, their daily routine. They could be the keynote speaker at an event. And if they're, if they are in demand enough, then the event organizer will fly them in a private jet to the event, put them in the presidential suite at a five-star hotel, and then pay them sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars for a 45 minute address. I'm not just making that up. That's actually, there's a comedian from Monty Python. Uh, if you're old enough to remember Monty Python, a friend of mine is an event organizer and she brought John Cleese in for uh, a conference appearance for 45 minutes. And he flew in a private jet from Santa Barbara, California to San Francisco or San Jose. And they paid him a fabulous amount of money and uh, for a 45 minute talk because he was who the audience resonated with, who the audience wanted to hear from. So that could be you, but you need to care about what people care about. You need to be able to hit them emotionally and intellectually. Again, as I've said, people's problems are what they care about the most. And the person who cares about other people's problems the most becomes the person that people seek out. Once you start to understand what people really care about and why they are why they're motivated, you have to be consistent. So it's not just a matter of uh, having one idea one time. You need to be able to show up in different places. You need to show up day after day and evolve. So you're talking about people's problems, but you can't just say the same thing every day uh, the same way because people get bored. So maybe you're making a video one day, maybe you're doing a blog post the next, and then you're doing a a public presentation, you know, that's really depends on who you're speaking to. So I'm not going to get too much into, I'm not going to get too much into that right now, but this idea of speaking the language of your, your audience, you know, you need to, you need to do that. You need to show up on Monday and on Tuesday and on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you do that over time. And then people recognize that, Hey, this isn't just some flash in the pan. This isn't just, uh, you know, one brilliant idea one time. It's like, this is a person with a vision. This is a person who's going to execute on that vision until they achieve success. And I want to be, I want to be there when this person achieves success. And I want this person to deliver for me in my life, what they say they're all about. So it's about being consistent. It's about being provocative. It's about being empathetic. That's an important word because having empathy for your, your audience is super, super important. It's the, again, it's the bedrock. So being empathetic, being consistent, and having you know having having something to say. Uh, I I think I've I think I've covered it, but you know just just uh, just because you want to be a thought leader, you're not going to be a thought leader. Thought leaders have to have thoughts that people find interesting, people find provocative. So we can talk about what it means to have provocative thoughts. If if you're liking this video, if you, if this is something that uh, is helpful for you and your business and your pursuits, then please drop a comment and let me know what you're thinking about this concept of being in demand, being consistent, being empathetic. But I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this topic. This is something I've made my, my life's work really is how to help people become the thought leaders, how to become the person on the tip of people's tongues. And it's just so, so, so important for, for every business, for every entrepreneur, for every community leader that they lead from the mind and from the heart. So my name is Chikadi. You can find me at moonshotpr.com, uh, pretty much everywhere on the internet. Uh, if you can spell my name, C-H-I-K-O-D-I, you can find me. I'm here in San Francisco, and I would love to keep talking about these thought leadership topics for you. So hope you have a great day, and we'll catch you on the next video.